got a picture of up close and personal. This is a UFO which is ready to take off and it is very up close and they inform me that there are three elements which the UFO is contained. One is telluride, the other is germanium, the other is palladium. I did not say a metal once. And not only that, but the things pick up and fly using anti-gravity. Now, that's one picture. Here's another picture. In this case, the, the uh, UFO is not turned on, ready to fly. Therefore, it only shows on the upper part of it. And generally, it's white on the underside when power is applied. Here's, here's also another of the same of the same order. Now these UFOs are 38 feet in diameter, and it was rather surprising to me, since I actually physically gave them my camera. They took this picture as a UFO was departing. Within one click of my camera, they got three UFOs. That's real. And yeah, we don't know why either. Now also, when UFOs come in, they, they like uh, we have a heads up display for our pilots. They do too. This is what their pilots see in order to tell them how to come to Area 51 and land. And not only that, they can go to a vertical hole in a mountain over 51 and go down a shaft. They don't have to, have, they don't have wheels. They don't have anything like that. They take off by going up straight. And then, now not only that, but they travel extremely rapidly. Their home planet is Quintonia, which is 68, 68 light years from us. They, to my surprise, when I ask them how fast they take to get from that, it should be 68,000 years to make it according to Einstein. But they're able to make it to us in 25 years. So I gave them an assignment to photograph the planets from space as they were coming back. And they did that. And you see Jupiter and Saturn and Mars and Earth as it's seen by UFOs. And here's another. Now, we aren't going through motherships or anything like that. Nevertheless, those are the you have now when they actually get powered up and actually start traveling, it turns like this. You do not hear sound. They're up they they travel like that, they look like that, and they travel extremely rapidly. Now the question is is who are they? Here's another one that's you see the bottom? Oh, it's all white. That's it's it's turned on. Here's also the bottom turned on. Strangely enough, uh, I asked them to take pictures of the power unit on the bottom, what, up close and personal. They gave me this. I don't know what this means. That's when my camera actually looks into the power center of the UFO. Now, the uh, the I, I asked them to uh, tell me about who was flying these things. He therefore said, fine, they're approximately five, five feet, four and a half to five feet tall. They they had one or, one or two of them 
around it that were 230 years old. And they, we have a total of at least 18 that exist and operate with our facility as Teller set it up. Now notice the eyes are different, nose are different, but they do have five fingers, five toes, uh, two eyes, uh, and uh, rather strangely enough, I asked him how they communicate. He says, well, it's like this, Ward. You all of a sudden have a question in your mind. You walk into a room with, with one of them, and all of a sudden you find yourself giving the answer to your question in your own voice. They're able to use your own voice by telepathy to talk to you. And I said, fine. Now that's how they look front. But when you turn around and look at the back, it's like that. Now notice that they have three back bones. They're actually cartilage. Nevertheless, it's a much more efficient system than ours. They also have three ribs in their system rather than, than more. This is also the back side of an alien. Here's a 45 degree look. And here's the back of the head. Notice the veins and no hair. And now when we talk about aliens, I pushed the issue and he said, well, there's kind of two groups of aliens. Well, he divided them, they divide them into two groups. Uh, one group he calls, it's like you have a ranch. And you have a ranch and you find that, that uh, one group are your wranglers that know how to wrangle your cattle. Now others are wrestlers, ones that steal your cattle. And indeed, that the, the two groups um, do act differently to the ones that are that are wranglers are much more friendly and have a, a better relationship with us. Here's uh, the other side of the alien too. Now also notice that their feet where they have five toes the toes are joined together like a frog and uh, yet they are, are uh, dissimilar. Now there was a surprising occurrence and that is my friend had one of them that, that uh, was a friend and he died here. And 10 days after his death I was out visiting my buddy who's in this picture. And if you look very close, you can see that his friend is in spirit form and right over his left shoulder. You can also see that the fingers are long, that, uh, that there is something. We have an expression that basically say, when a person dies, they stay around their body for three days and then go off. And uh, they basically have the same thing that happens to them. Now, with respect to the, the alien craft, we have American citizens which are suited up like this and they are working on UFOs 24 hours a day and we're trying to learn what to do. These are two guys, two American citizens, and they're trying to protect themselves against the germs and things like that. And here's a, another view of them. And 
here's another one. There's an upper part of a UFO and a lower part of a UFO. This is the upper part, and it's just one of them up there. They have a, generally we give them suspenders so that if they start floating, they don't have gravity on the inside. Somebody can grab them and pull them over to the side. And this is the home planet that they come from, which they call Quintonia. Now notice that the hand, that's an alien hand. Notice that it is, that the fingers are longer than ours by quite a bit, about 30% longer, and that's just the way they're put together. Now, at any rate, 